YouTubers. Look what we got here. That's the new blade. I'm gonna try to get some pictures of it. Yep. Or whether I will or not. The thing is heavy. So I'm gonna set it down. On package blade. These shippers really did a kind of a poor job when they delivered it. So it might hang out here on this stand for a couple days because I want to try to fix this. Even though if I hung it on the salt wall, I guess I wouldn't need to. I'm gonna take some screws out of it. First time I've opened it. If you're, if you're new here, I got this thing maybe almost a year ago. You could go back to some old videos and find it. Wasn't cheap. Back then it was uh, over 3,000, but been sawing for 30 years and never had a new blade. I don't know how long I've been sawing, but Never had new blades, so I finally hooked up with a real nice guy, and he says this is the best thing from Mana, M-E-N-O-M-I-N-E-E, -E -E, saw up in Michigan. So this is a first time crating. The reason I'm hanging it here, because I'm trying to, look at that. Trying to do a, um, can't think what I'm thinking of, the sticker. And the sticker that I want to do, I want to have as a backdrop the saw blade. So that's kind of why I'm going in this direction. Now, hopefully, I can stand it up. Oh my goodness. Bad boy, it's too heavy for the old man. Ugh. Not too bad. Except for I forgot to take the big bolt off of this thing. This is just kind of a mock-up mandrel. Hopefully this will go on there and hang so I can get some nice pictures for my stickers that I want to make. Well, it all came off fine. Think I can get that up there? Woo! I don't know what these things weigh. Oh my goodness, I can't see it. That oh, it went down in the dirt, but the, uh, I think I just got to go straight up. It's on there. Now this thing needs a bath before I... Um, yeah, it's going the direction I want to go. I don't really need to tighten that up more than to hold it. So that's... It needs a bath. So it'll get a bath. Uh-oh, I've got a little... A little rust on it there. It's been so humid. That's rust. This is where they, you, if you can see these rings, I don't know whether they'll come out or not. They might come out. That's where they expanded it to the speed that I wanted. This thing should run um, 600, 670 RPM. So, it's kind of a teaser. But you can see where when they shipped it, the shipping outfit, really botched, botched their end of the job up, I think. So if I can get a piece to come around here, maybe I'll take and saw this off straight, and put a piece in there. I don't know what I'm gonna do to fix it, but I'm gonna 
try to do something to make that a little bit better. And there's another, you can't see it here, but there's another whole piece blown out on the other side. So I'm going to try to fix that. I guess I'll stand this up. Windy out here today. Now I don't know what's in these instructions, but I'm about ready to find out. You guys, there's a staple in these instructions, two staples in these instructions. So I guess we'll find out what's in here. Probably saying, all warranties voided. Or, or it's got a warranty, it's got a warranty tell you hook it up to your uh, sawmill. That's when it voids the warranty. But that's why I got that metal detector to feel a little more confident running this. This blade here should last me without any problem the rest of my life. And then some, it, it should go 25 or better years. Okay, here's what we got. Except for they messed up at 670 here, but originally came from Frick or from Simons. Can you can you see that? And I guess this is a quality control guy. So it's a 54 inch blade. It's a 6.7, 600 RPM, but it's actually 670. Right hand, and uh, I don't know what that is. Bit clearance one and a sixteenth. Okay, over here styles an F9. Number of teeth 50, center holes two, and then that's the other stuff to fit into, into the sawmill uh, guide. So that's what that is. Didn't know what that was, now I got it. So it's a Simon's blade. It says Simon's on the other side, but I didn't, I wanted the teeth in the picture to go this way, because that's just what I wanted. There's another, another thing over here, I don't know, this is probably a shipping order, if I can get it out. So after this, I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to clean up that little bit of rust down there. Polish it a little bit. Probably not polish it, just kind of clean it. This is probably the order form. Yep, this is the order form. Everybody always asks how much it is. I don't know if you can see that. $3,007. So I'm a 007. $3,000 a double over. over 07 and here's all the stuff that in uh, included the freight who knows what this blade would cost now there's another new blade this uh, this is what I said was a 54 there's another new blade down at Jeff's that I got right after I got this one which is a 60 inch so let me uh, put this stuff where it won't get blown away I guess I'll put this in my pocket and see what it looks like going around a little bit As the world turns. I bet that thing would hurt you even going like that, guys. It was the wrong way. Anyway, that's about it. I'm gonna clean it up, take some pictures, because that's that's what I want. That's what I want is the background for my sign. But see, I wasn't sure how it was going to come out in the picture. So I, I don't know whether the sun's going to be better here or better. So I'm going to take a bunch of pictures of it. I took some pictures of the Jeeps and I took some pictures of the sawmills. And basically what I want to do is have, can you see my hat? I don't know if they can see the hat. That always looks like it's going goofy. I swear that always, doesn't it? If you, well, maybe I got to move over here. That's dead in the middle of the camera. Anyhow, here's where it says freaking Jeep. I hope you guys can read that. So I want freaking Jeep through here. Then I want it to say Frick Sawmills up here and Willie's Jeeps down here with two pictures of my Jeeps and two pictures of my sawmills. So that's what I'm shooting for in a six inch circle or five inch circle or four inch circle, whatever I can do. Once, once it's sent to the graphic artist, then they can make it bigger or smaller to fit the need. But I don't know how this is showing up in the in the camera. You can't even see the top of the blade. Did you notice that? See, look at it. You can't even see the top of the blade. It's not where the bottom's clear. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to play with it a little bit. It's it might sit there tonight. It ain't gonna hurt it. Sawmills sit out a lot. It's it's oiled up pretty good. Even though I'm gonna clean the oil off of it. So anyhow, that's about it. I'll show you the contraption in the back that's holding it. Just for the 
for what's going on. This is a contraption holding it down. This is where you can turn it to make it go go around. Here's here's the uh, information on it right there. But see that 600 is off. That's how it came from Simons, and they moved it up to a six. I should have probably lowered my RPM on the on the sawmills. And there's where it says Simons. So I'm going to try to get that okay off of there, and maybe do a couple pictures of the Simons too, because it's just kind of neat to me the way these are these are kind of neat. Look, see the picture. It might be better taking the. Nah, it's pretty glary there too. I don't know how to get it without the glare. I'm not a photography expert, but there you don't have the whole blade. That's why I didn't put it on the saw. You couldn't get a good picture of the whole blade. I wanted the whole blade on there for my sign when it goes. And you can't find, I couldn't find any pictures like that on YouTube that showed this particular, I mean, you can get a million saw blades, but you can't get a, you can't get your saw blade number one and you couldn't get a insert tooth saw blade. So I'm gonna sit here and take a bunch of pictures after I clean it up. So over and out, this is kind of a tease. I'll probably throw this on tonight. I might saw one. Might saw one tonight. I'm not sure yet. Um, if there's one there, there's one there. If not, I'll, I'll put a saw in one. I have those that sticky wood that I tested with the metal detector that I showed you guys either last night or the night before. I'm not, not sure. Today was not a good day. Um, <laughs> it, it, and it's too much to go into. But it was a terrible day, so I probably shouldn't saw. But it's my golf game it makes you feel better so over and out for now i made it past my my lucky 10 minutes that's that's the new the new blade look at that isn't that pretty i hope to get it on i just got to get some help to get it on help is hard to come by here so over and out for now we'll see you guys later thanks for stopping in